All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, your overall energy is new life and not for you. I feel like you walked away from someone that you just felt wasn't it. You were done. Um, I feel like you have a new person or a new start or you're going after a new life, a new relationship. You want to feel good. You want to feel uplifted. You want somebody to put you on a pedestal like what you deserve, right? You're looking for that. Um, your person's overall energy, we have soulmate and happy, happy. So I don't know yet if this is the old person or the new person's energy. Uh, let's hope it is the new person's energy, but let's get into your reading and find out. Uh, Cancer, keep in mind, energies can be reversed, flip-flopped. Okay, it is a general reading. Uh, temperance, Sagittarius energy, divine timing, divine flow. Could be an Aries Leo Sag that you're dealing with. We got Queen of Wands here. Let's see what's going on. Current situation here. Moving. Okay, so you could be moving away from a fire sign, possibly called Justice. Maybe some of you were married or in a contract with them of some sort. I feel like you're moving on or moving away from that. Um, or they could be moving away from a situation. I feel like there was heated arguments, drama, too many people involved. Oh, is this the old person? I want it to be the new person. Scorpio energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, this could be you. I feel like you've just had it. You, you had it with the drama, the arguing, the disputes, the fighting, the <laughs> whatever it was. We'll get to that in a second with the blockages and see what was going on there. Tell me more. The hanged man. Yeah, you pulled your energy back. You could have been in a commitment here. Living with them, house, home, leveling up, commitment, or that's what you wanted and that's what this person couldn't give to you. I feel like you have somebody new, so I'm trying to tell if this is the new or the old. So let's see, what was blocking cancer? You Abandoned. You either felt abandoned, left out in the cold, left hanging. Maybe this person just couldn't give you commitment, so you're, you were done. Yeah, you may not have felt a spark with them either, or it died down. I have strong Aries coming through. Could have been a fire sign that maybe got in between the two of you. For some of you, not all. This person could have just been um, acting single, that kind of a thing. Not taking all of these. Wow, so temperance again. Sagittarius energy. All right, Knight of Cups, Pisces energy, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn. I feel like you, I feel like you're moving maybe towards a, an Earth sign. You're either moving towards an earth sign or away from an earth sign and towards a fire or away from a fire or something like that. I feel like you're you're going towards somebody who can give you long-term connection, love, nurture, unconditional love. Someone who's grounded, someone who's has goals and knows what they want. I feel like this other person they didn't know what they wanted. And I feel like you you realized that, so you were like, bye. Let's see, what is this person's intentions? I want the new person. What is this new person's intentions? Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords, Gemini energy, Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. This person wants to come rushing towards you. They're not, they're not going to abandon you. They're not going to abandon you. This, um, My intention is for the new person. Whoever this is that you want this new life with, I feel like you know who it is. If you haven't met him yet, probably soon. I don't think their their intention isn't to abandon you. Oh, their intention is to go long term with you. Ten of Pentacles. Family-oriented, stability, loyalty, family, long-term. Wow, this is good, Cancer. 
I feel like this this full moon like energy, this craziness and chaos is just kind of like wiping out all the, blech, you know. Uh, we do have seven of swords here. So what is that? It can be lying, sneaking, cheating, stealing. It could also mean taking your power back or a surprise, doing something in secret with a surprise or something like that, stealing you away. Their intention is to steal you away here. Possibly to steal you away from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Unless that's what you're dealing with. All right. Okay. Cancer. This person is stressing out. They want to be your emperor or empress. They want they want commitment here. This this could be this could be a mix of the old and the new person. So take it how it resonates. I'm seeing it a couple different ways. I feel like Cancer, you may have been in a higher level of commitment and you're walking away from that and this new person wants to like come in and sweep you off your feet. But the old person still lingers and I feel like it's stressing the new person out a little bit because they want to be that Emperor Empress energy. Commitment. They want commitment. All right. How does this person feel about you? How does this person feel about you? How does this person feel about Cancer? Knight of Wands. So Sagittarius energy, Seven of Cups, the Emperor in reverse, Aries energy, Three of Pentacles. They want to get on the same page with you. They want to build with you, Two of Cups. They feel you're their soulmate. They feel like you're fun, outgoing, spontaneous, uh, attractive, good-looking, fun, flirty. I feel like you confuse them sometimes, though. You might give this person a little bit of mixed signals, all right? I'm not saying it's the truth. It's just how they feel. They want you to make a decision here. Now, keep in mind, this is a general reading. It can be completely flip-flopped and reversed. You may want them to make a decision, all right? So... If they're leaving a, a commitment, whatever, okay? So just keep that in mind. There's that Empress to the Emperor. Yep, and then Knight of Swords, Gemini energy. Again, Taurus energy with the Empress. They want you to make a decision. They, they look at Emperor, Empress. They, they want this, that divine match, that perfect match. That soulmate bond, that, that forever person. That's, that's how they see you. They want to be on the same page, but I feel like you're kind of giving them wishy-washy energy because maybe you didn't know what to do or maybe that's how they were treating you, whatever. Someone needs to make a decision here. So let's see what's going to happen. Potential outcome. Keep in mind your free will. So do they. So it can change. But what could happen here for cancer as the outcome? What are you going to do? What's cancer going to do? King of Cups, Knight of Cups. Some of you could be dealing with another water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Doesn't have to be. That could be you. I do feel like this person wants to come in and sweep you off your feet. Knight in shining armor, male or female. No gender in tarot, you guys. Justice, Libra, energy, being fair, balanced. If there is a separation here, a legal separation, something with a contract. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, being slow, methodical, planned, grounded, stable. It's like they want to rush in towards you, Cancer, but then they want to like do it right. Like they want to have that certainty that this is for real. Because I feel like there's been mixed signals going on here. 
they want that truth. They want that clarity. Queen of Swords, Libra energy again. Someone needs to cut off and cut out someone or something that no, sorry, no longer serves them. Hermit Virgo energy. This is such a complete, this is the weirdest reading I've ever done for you guys. <laughs> with the mix, the mix of energy with the old and the new. It's the craziest thing. I feel like this new person wants you to cut off and cut out stuff from the past. So if this is like the past coming back, let's just say, they want you to like, let's just have a fresh start. I realize they are my ways, you know, that kind of a thing. Um, there may have been ghosting or not talking, or maybe you pulled your energy back to kind of gain some clarity on what to do here. I feel like it could be someone from your past coming back. And there could be a situation and you're leaving, place it where you see fit. I don't want to make it too confusing because I do see a lot of different scenarios here for you. Something is going to be manifested here. <clears throat> what is it? Victory and success, a soulmate. A transformation, scorpionic energy, death, rebirth, and being on the same page, being in alignment with each other. Victory and success with a soulmate. One, somebody here is a soulmate to you. Somebody here, cancer, is a soulmate to you. And it could lead to, like, straight-up long-term commitment. I'm seeing commitment heavy in this. Earth. I feel like it's an Earth sign. A Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or they have strong Earth placements. Look at another divine counterpart. With wishy-washy energy in between. <laughs> Someone needs to, like, really make up their mind on what it is that they want. I feel like you both know what it is that you want, but something may have to be, ha like, happen or change. All right. Let's see. What's the biggest obstacle? Awareness. Being aware that this is that soulmate bond here. what this connection is, being aware of it, new vision, seeing things differently from a different point of view and exhaustion. One of you could be tired, tired of the games, tired of the, the never ending stories, the round and round, the cycles, the karmic lessons. Somebody could be just exhausted from that. Get it. Totally get it. And that's why you're like, I just want a new life. I just want to shine. I just want to feel good about myself. I just want someone to appreciate me. Right. right, let's see, what else do we have for advice for cancer? Home, home, you feel cozy, home, warm, at home with each other. Sorry, I'm reading that wrong. Cozy, warm, secure, you feel at home with each other. Outcome, results, conclusion, ending, you will soon get a resolution. So your answers are coming. If you're confused and don't know what to do, which is why you're being wishy-washy, you're giving that kind of energy, or they are, there will be an outcome here. Community, friendship, fun, a light heart, enjoy downtime with friends and family. This could have been a friend that turned into love. Big goals, career, business, success, claim your place in the world. Don't lose sight of what you want, okay? Don't lose sight of your goals. Air time out, be gentle with yourself and your twin. All right, let's see. What did this person want to say to you, Cancer? What did they want to say? Finding out the truth crushed me. I replay our conversations over and over. Oh, I just saw these. I love you. We will be together again. I wish I could take back my words, too, so there could have been that. I love you unconditionally. We needed to let each other go. See, that's what I'm saying. I feel like this is a past love that you had to let go. You moved on. You got yourself into, like, another relationship that turns not 
what you wanted. And now I feel like this is kind of being reconciled or rekindled here with whoever this other person is. So again, I they could be brand new. I don't know if they are. I feel like it could be somebody you already know or it could have been a friend um, that turned into more. All right. All right, let's get some letters. First, middle, last name, initials. Could spell a name. Could spell a word of significance. Place it where you see fit. I have C, Q, U, V, S, E, T, and Z. I'm also seeing M and B. All right. Um, numbers. Could be birthday, anniversary, number of days, weeks, months, years. Uh, angel numbers. Place it where you see fit. We have 6-6. Six, six. Look up angel number 6-6. Six, six. It's not as bad as you think. <laughs> oh, I'm also seeing... Did I already say these for you? I'm seeing a lot of sixes, you guys. Look up angel number 6-6. Six, six. And 44 and 33. All right, so I'm going to roll a 6 here. Another 6. Sixes are... Huh. The energy is strong with those. The force is strong. All right, so 2 six, five, twelve. So... Could be the 2nd, 5th, 6th, or 12th of any month, 25th, 26th, 52, 62, play around with the numbers. February, May, June, December. Zodiac signs. Uh, could be star signs, uh, sun signs, strong placements in their chart. Something could happen during that season, like cancer season. All right, we have Capricorn... Capricorn, Taurus, Aquarius, and Gemini. Capricorn, Taurus, Aquarius, Gemini. Could be any sign, you guys. Place it where you see fit. Cancer, that is what I have for you. 